Laura Ray and today we're going to try out the viral triangle concealer method on my mature skin. Most of the people that have done this have been very young and I thought it'd be great to try it on mature skin to see if this actually works. Now the thought behind this is you're only using concealer, you're not using any foundation, and many of the people that have posted videos did go ahead and add blush. On my face right now I have my eyeshadow because I want to do a look like I could wear out. So I went ahead and applied what I normally would on my eyes and my lips and I want you to know that on my skin I have this primer, the new L'Oreal. I really like it. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the other makeup that I'm wearing because I want you to see it. A lot of it's brand new and I'm really enjoying it. So this whole method is based on triangles and placement of the triangles to give a lifted look to the face, but also for it to blend in with the skin so you don't need foundation. I'm starting with one of my all-time favorite concealers. I think it's so great for mature skin and it's this Winky Luxe. It is their concealer in the shade Light Beige. The reason I like this so much is it blends so easily in my mature skin. It's like they've added some oils to it to make it more emollient and it doesn't get caught in my enlarged pores. So let's start. I want you to see how little product I'm using and I'm using a flat pointed brush. This is so I can get a very small amount. Now I'm starting here. The tri first triangle is going to be in the upper corner of my eye and like this. Now this method is very different from the time when we would do these large triangles that would take up half of our face. I'm going to let that sit a moment. Uh, some people right away blend it out. Some people let it bake for a couple of minutes. I want you to see the placement of all the triangles before I blend them out. Now some people have done a triangle here, others haven't. I think a triangle here is perfect for a lifted look for mature skin. So I'm going to put one there. Blend that out a little bit. Now around the nose, the shape that they do comes out around the nose and then out into a triangle here. The wider part of the triangle is by the nose, like that. It's almost more like a right angle. <laughs> and then in the lip area, it's under the lip and up. Now let's try blending all of that out. I can already see it sinking in because as I said, this um, really goes on beautifully. Now the technique is to take a dense brush like this. This one's from Huda, I've shown it many times, and start pouncing, pouncing it out and bringing it into the under eye with most of the product being on the outer corner and inner corner. And then here, bringing this up and sort of melting it in with the eye area. And of course you're wanting to blend sort of in an upward movement because you're trying to lift the face. I'm going to add more, about the same amount I had for the other side for the left side of my face. So again, I'm going in the inner corner, painting this triangle. with the wide part being against my nose. Now I'm going to go ahead and do one here. And these triangles don't have to be perfect. I've seen other people do it and they just sort of smudge some in that area and it still worked. It's just you're wanting a thin amount of product. And I've tried this with another concealer and I found that you really need something very thin and emollient to do this, not something that's thicker or quick drying. Now I'm going to go under the mouth and out. And 
and that's the placement. Now we'll take the Huda brush and just start blending and start pouncing with the inner corner, bringing it across and under the eye. What I love about this Winky Lux, almost most concealers collect in my under eye area. This is one of the few that does not. It's sort of a mid-price concealer. It's not super pricey, but it's not uh, as inexpensive as some I use. But for this method, I really want it to look great everywhere, even areas where I have large pores. So I'm very happy with using the Winky Lux. So here's the look with both sides done. If I'm going out, I'm definitely still going to want some blush on my cheeks. So I purchased this to try to find a dupe for it, but I'm just starting to look right now. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury today. This is her new matte beauty blush wand. And I took your advice. You said I look better in warm shades. So I bought Pillow Talk Peach Pop. And this is one of those that you just squeeze a little product into the applicator and then pounce it on. And I'll take my Delium brush and just sort of blend it out. I've worn this a couple of times and I really do love it. But of course I have less expensive blushes that I love too. But I think this gives a very soft, beautiful look to the skin. And if you're not a fan of Luminous, then you're going to really like this because it doesn't have all that shimmer to it. I know a lot of ladies aren't fans of shimmer, so this doesn't have any. Now I like the look a lot better. I am so used to wearing a full face of foundation that when I first saw that, I thought, I can't do that. I can't go without foundation. But I think with the uh, Winky Lux being so thin and beautiful, I just think that this would work. Like I would feel comfortable going to work like this or even without any eyeshadow, maybe just some liners, some mascara. So I really do like this look and I think it does look a little lifted. Let me know in the comments, do you think that this technique does lift the face? And also, do you think there's enough coverage that you would be happy going out with just this amount of coverage on your skin? I'm going to go ahead and put some powder on. I just ordered this myself. It's from Joy. I heard so many good reviews on this powder. One of my goals for this year for the channel is to try some brands that are different, that I haven't tried before, that maybe aren't so uh, mainstream brands that are a little less well-known. And I heard some great reviews on this powder. And I bought it in the shade Fair because some people online said that this powder ran a little dark. So I'm just going to put, especially on my nose, my nose tends to get oily. So I'm going to put a little powder. You wouldn't have to. Part of the idea of this method is to not have foundation or anything much on the skin, but be able to get a quick lifted look. So you wouldn't have to put powder, but I wanted you to also see the difference between putting powder and not. Wow, I really love this powder. It feels very light on my skin. Really nice. Let me just go over quickly what I have on my face, the rest of my face. I just got this palette sent to me by Seate London. It is so beautiful in my opinion. It's one of their new palettes for spring and I love it, especially this shade because it's a duochrome. So that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. I explained that I have the L'Oreal primer on my uh, skin. Another L'Oreal product that I'm using today is the new lipstick. I love the shape of this. This is in the shade Rosewood um, Ambition. Beautiful. But I have topped it with something I've fallen madly in love with, and that's this gloss from Stands Out Beauty. They did send me these, but I will gladly repurchase. I think the packaging is just so super cute. And this is the shade Fancy Light. 
it has a regular applicator like this doe foot but boy look at look at these just beautiful i'm so impressed they're so creamy and so affordable i think they run around 13 dollars so that's pretty much what you pay at the drugstore but look at that it looks so luxe then I'm wearing the new Telescopic Lift from L'Oreal, the mascara. I've been wearing it for about a month now, and I really love it. Gives some length to my lashes. I prime my eyes today with the primer I've been telling you I love so much that's under $5, I believe. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeshadow Primer. I bought that a couple of months ago, and boy, it works amazing. And then I'm wearing the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil, and the shade I'm wearing is Espresso. So that's pretty much what I've got on my face right now, along with the Charlotte Tilbury that I showed you, the blush I recently bought. But I really love this look, and I think I'm really surprised. I thought this technique wouldn't work for me, but I think I will be wearing a lot less foundation because my skin feels so light, so comfortable. I would have been fine even without the powder, but I like that the powder brought down the shine on my nose and forehead. So I think this is a pretty good technique. I hope you all have a blessed and beautiful week. I look forward to seeing you this Saturday. I have a great video for you, so I'll see you then. Love you so much.